Um, wanted to ask, I mean, this is the last shot there with uh, Jordan seemed like the one that would have been the equalizer. Can you kind of talk a little bit about the conditions and um, yeah, and just maybe how hard it was to, to actually get that goal? Well, I think uh, just, you know, throughout the year, it's been tough for us. Um, you know, that summed up the, the last, you know, four games, right? We put ourselves in a good position and we unfortunately uh, can't finish, can't, don't have the final product, but still a long season. Um, you know, we're, we're really positive in the locker room. Uh, you know, tough conditions, of course, tough for both teams, but I love how our team gutted it out. Uh, love the effort and, uh, you know, unfortunately it didn't go our way. Is that the way you feel too, Steph? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's tough conditions, but for, for both sides, obviously, and the uh, I think I think we, we you know we carved out a lot of pressure um, and uh, and decent chances and also on top of that I would, I would argue we, we we limited one of the most lethal front four in the league to to just a handful of chances um, silly goal to give up obviously um, so early on but, but but we like like Christian said we, we worked really hard we stayed together uh, it was really nice to see that we. We fought for each other. We, we we kept going and going, and it's unfortunate we just came up short. But um, yeah, it's a bit of a broken record, I know, but um, we got to keep building on it. Next question, we'll go over to Felipe Makeda. Felipe, please go ahead and ask your question. Thank you, Alex. The pregunta is in español para Christian. Christian, me puedes dar tus impresiones de de este encuentro y si me puedes decir. ¿Qué es lo positivo que podemos rescatar de este encuentro? Lo positivo es venimos a Los Ángeles a jugar. Sentí que dominamos el partido, que había momentos que nosotros se, se parecía que nosotros éramos uh, el, el equipo local. Sí, de vez en cuando el, la pelota no entra al gol. Eh, pero pero lo que Steph di dijo defensivamente sentí que, que estamos muy bien eh, menos el gol y eh, sentí que creamos chances y desafortunadamente la pelota no quería entrar gracias Bob I'm going to have you question yeah, go ahead the question was uh, Christian please give us your impressions about the match and what do you think we can carry as positives, uh, the answer. Uh, the positive is that we came here to LA to play and we played, um, we dominated uh, parts of the match. In moments, it almost seemed that we, we were playing like the local team. Um, sometimes, some days, the ball just doesn't go into the goal. Uh, but I felt that the defense played well, uh, minus uh, the uh, error. And we created chances. And like I said, sometimes the ball just doesn't go in. All right, next question. I am seeing Owen Murray with a hand raised. Owen, go ahead and please ask your question. Thanks, Alex. Uh, Christian, how did you feel about going back in the middle today? And is that something you'd like to keep doing in the future? Um, you know, I'm, I'm playing where where I'm asked to be played. Um, you know, where, where the coaches think that I can have the most impact in the game based on, you know, who's available, right? Um, uh, I, I had fun in there. Um, you know, it, it felt like uh, I was I was back to, um, you know, so my early early years in Seattle, but um, look, I'm, I'm uh, moved all over the place uh, for a reason because Schmitz believes that uh, he can rely on me in multiple positions and, um, and yeah, we'll see where where I, I, I play next weekend. Um, uh, but you know, at the end of the day, it's it's not about where where I play, right? We we want to win games, we want to score goals, and um, you know, we, we need to be able to put the best lineup out there, and hopefully, we can get uh, some of our injured guys back. Do you feel like your game is significantly different when you play in the middle, or is it just kind of feel the same? Yeah, my role has changes, right? Like uh, a little bit more defensive-minded. Um, 
you know, a, a less attacking, obviously, um, you know, uh, uh, trying to break up tackles, uh, uh, play the ball into uh, the, the half spaces, right, to, to some of our better players, um, to our offensive players. And, um, yeah, being a little bit more vocal, a bit of more of a leader, right, uh, I think that's something that, that, that we need, right? We need a, a voice right now when, when people are struggling and, or, or when our teams are, when our team is struggling. And, um, you know, that's, that's, that's my role. That's, that's part of my job. All right. We'll take one or two more. Jeremiah, over to you. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I missed the, the first part and I'm sorry if, uh, if you guys got asked this, but, um, I guess this equals the, the worst start in Sounders history. Um, I don't know what, what is the the feeling as far as like real knowing that? I assume that's not news to you. Um, I mean, news that it's the worst start. Uh, obviously, don't I feel like when you're losing games and and tying games and you can't win games, then you know where you are. Um, and you don't need to do to to dig too far to uh, to, to figure out where you are. So, uh, having said that, there's what uh, 80, 87 points to be played for. Um, and, and at some point, I feel like it's going to have to change. So uh, we, we need to keep working hard. We need to keep working hard, believing, sticking together. Um, I think today we felt like we, we really pressed hard as a unit um, and worked hard as a unit. And again, it's just really, it, it's more frustrating than anything to not be rewarded, right? Um, but at some point, we will have to be rewarded for our efforts, I think. Um, and, and then hopefully that that's when the floodgates open, right? Um, we, we have to try to stay on the pot, find the positives, focus on the positives, because um, everything else is, is garbage. It doesn't help us at all. Um, you know, uh, whether we're, we're breaking negative records or whether we are looking at the table, it, it, it doesn't help. You kind of know where you are when you can't win games. So why focus on it even more? I'd rather, again, like I said, we focus on the positives, the things that we think we're doing well and the things that we need to improve on, but um so eventually if, if you keep working hard and sticking together i think uh, i think for some time <clears throat> jada did you have a follow-up yeah it, it kind of um i think steph kind of covered it as far as though I, I wanted to know how hard or is it hard to keep that positivity right now um when you know it's because of it being the start of the season and then i also wanted to know if you guys could compare the field to to philly i know the Philly game got canceled, but wanted to know a comparison. I think it's not hard to keep the positivity because there, there's a lot of good things that we're doing. Um, you know, we're, we're not, I don't think we're, we're grasping for positives and, and making them out of thin air. That's, it, that's almost the frustrating part as well, right? Because I think we're doing a lot of good things on the field. Um, and, and so, no, it's, it's not hard to find those. It, it, it certainly doesn't make it easy when you still walk away with zero points here uh, from here, but, 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 but it gives you a plethora of good things to focus on and, and trying to keep keep staying positive and building upon them. Um, I wasn't in uh, in Philly. Uh, I mean, just from the warm-up, we, right away, I think uh, we, we knew that we had to be very careful playing out of the back um, and, and avoiding silly things that, that, that would potentially lead to something uh, um, that we didn't want to. But I think we handled that quite well. Um, happy that we were able to um, come down here and 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 play the game. I mean, obviously, it's a lot of exp energy expended when you have to travel places um, and then you don't get to play. Unfortunately, we we still couldn't get a result. But um, yeah, one thing I'll add is uh, you know we we've gone through spells like this before, probably even worse at times. Uh, at least through through our time here with the Sounders. Unfortunately, this spell is at the beginning of the season, right? So that's kind of where where things change. But we've we've gotten out of this, uh, and you know, we've we've dealt with with adversity a lot here with the Sounders. And you know, I know we have a strong locker room, and, and you know, we'll, we'll have a you know a tough training week and prepare as well as we have been, and you know, we'll be ready for the next game, but. You know, we've gone through these spells, these ups and downs, and you know it's not fun to go through these downs. But you know, there's there's light at the end of the tunnel, and, and uh, we got to believe that uh, as much as 
as much as our fans and you know as much as our our organization our, our players our staff and you know we, we really believe that we, we can get out of this 